Happy Saturday to you. Yeah, I promised a Saturday show, and here I is. Uh, you're, yeah, Benny the Goat. Oh, my God. It's been a hot minute. How the hell you been? I remember the name. I, all I know is it's been a hot minute. Moose, how you doing, bud? Happy Saturday. Hope you're doing well. Uh, yeah. Uh, got my errands done a little bit later than I anticipated. I ain't got shit else to do. So it's like, yeah, let's just start the show now. Uh, get a few hours in, take a break, and maybe do a part two tonight. I don't know. There will definitely be a part two tonight. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> uh, definitely be a show tomorrow for sure. Uh, I want to get at least four or five hours in over the next couple days. So, yeah. Uh, well, we'll see how that goes. I've been good, been working a lot, been looking for some cool paranormal stuff to watch. Uh, yeah, me too. Uh, it's getting harder and harder to find good, honest, paranormal content. The, it's out there, don't get me wrong, but anymore it's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's paranormal, what the fuck? We, uh, people just want views, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'd like to see a couple hundred people in here. But if not, I've got my devoted few. And, you know, that that's fine for me. I've got a good circle of people. The more the people, the more the drama. But not a lot of people want to sit around and analyze evidence. They just want to see the evidence. Fine by me. I don't do highlight clips for that reason. If you want the evidence, you drag your asses in here and help find it. I know that's a sadistic way to look at it, but if you want to learn about the paranormal, what better freaking way than sitting down for hours listening to nothing? Hoping for that one teeny tiny little voice. <laughs> kind of an evil way to force people to learn about it, but it is what it is. Uh, we left off Thursday night on Dead's H1N Pro, night three, and last night sells B2. Uh, we're 25 minutes in, or 24, 25 minutes in. Uh, we haven't got anything yet. Hoping for the best on this. This is last night sales. This is generally where we get most of the activity if we're investigating. So, we'll see. So, we can see it's pretty flat line for right now. We can skip through the flat parts. So 
There's also a lot of bumps in here, so we might be forced. So, uh, yeah, I got my paycheck yesterday uh, for my time in Anawa for my six days in Big Bear. <laughs> I honestly didn't think my check was going to be that nice. Uh, yeah, I had <laughs> like 25 hours of overtime. Is there distant? Yeah, that's us in the background. Good catch there, Moose. Uh, next check will be for Monday, and Monday was a beastly day, so we'll see. Been keeping a lot of aloe on my sunburns. Finally starting to go away. But yeah, I'm already, already looking forward to next year. So we've got a lobster man. You ain't lying. You definitely are not wrong. I see Ecto dropped in. How you doing, bud? Yeah, I'm getting to the point I don't need drawn butter for my burns. Not an EVP. Yeah. Uh, bird, more than likely. Wheels on a cart. Could it be uh, the wheels on my uh, pelican? It very well could be the wheels on the pelican. If it was wheels on a cart, it could be uh, residual sounds from a gurney carrying the body out. So let's go to Denoise. Ah, uh, now I'm not so sure about gurney wheels. could be wind because they did have a window cracked up there it could very well be wind all we know is it's not paranormal debunk it you clean it up and it takes that metallic wheel sound away from it from that flopping of wheels uh, so yeah more than likely wind I definitely want to try to knock out a lot today if we can. So you see it's completely blank up to there. And I do have enough for a drink tonight. All depends whether I do uh, a show late tonight or save that for my uh, gaming, where I definitely need a drink. 
That's bad when you gotta have a drink when you game to keep from raging. Good games came out coming out though. I was really thinking on picking up like Midnight Ghost Hunt or something and do a paranormal gaming night. But don't know if I have the patience for that. I'm definitely probably one of the people you do not want to watch game I can rage uh, there's old clips out there of me playing uh, PUBG not pretty definitely definitely not a pretty sight <laughs> that's what makes streamers better right I mean, me being 48, I hook up a Nintendo and play Nintendo games streaming, like Metroid or some shit. Uh, <laughs> even hook up the Atari. People like to watch someone rage on stream. Yeah, but it... it Kind of take away from the name of the channel, Incarnate Paranormal. Oh, this guy's a ghost hunter. Oh, no, he's a gamer. Click. That nice red X in the top right of the screen. be a lot of wind or a team down the hallway. Wind. Definitely wind. Sounds like mostly wind. Yep, wind off the blinds. We'll definitely be able to see that when I take the GoPro into the area. When we get to that video, at least. We still have uh, two nights of Dead's recorders to go through, uh, Dead's GoPros to go through from Culinary. Uh, one night for me in the old, uh, the original Culinary. Then the GoPro Dead's carried for three nights. Then we finish off with the GoPro I carried for three nights. Uh, so that's down the road. Uh, we still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight recorders to go through. And we got three months to do it. Wait, what's, what is today? 22nd of June, July, August. We got two months to get through all this and for me to get typed up and ready. Yeah, June 22nd. June's already over. <laughs> June 22, motherfucker. <laughs> MF. Eh, nice way to say it.
I prefer the MF over the ND. Kind of just suits. Yeah, we're pretty quiet through here. You didn't mean it that way, but it works. You know, going back, talking about that raging gamer and click the click the X at the top right of the screen. I used to use that on my radio shows, my internet radio shows. If you didn't like what I said, go ahead and click that X. I could care less. One person leaves, three new people come in. You're easily replaceable. I would say this to my listeners. Now, that's not a good way to market. If you don't like it, don't don't listen. <laughs> that that's kind of a it's kind of a ballsy way to handle things. If you don't like it, I don't want you here. You see, pretty quiet. But I I in a some weird way, I'd love to see the amount of viewers on here as I did just in the UK on my radio show. I was broadcast in Australia, UK, well, and here. Being an internet radio show, I had another uh, internet station pick it up in the UK, and uh, it was broadcast Friday and Saturday nights. I had between 15 and 20,000 a night between, between the two nights. Who would tune into my show? I, I didn't know this until about three years in. I never wanted to know my numbers. I never asked for them. I even told the, the the guy running the station, Iceman. I was like, "Hey, don't tell me my numbers. I don't want to know." Well, why not? Because I don't want an ego. I don't want to come off as that person. If I have 10 listeners or 10,000, I'm going to talk to them the same way. Don't tell me. And he never did. And I, like I said, I never asked my numbers there, but for the, over in the UK, uh, I think at this, the station over there was Spectrum, uh, Spectrum Pets Woods. Uh, I asked him one day, I was like, do I even warrant sending my shows? Am I that popular? He goes, give me two days, I'll get you your numbers. He goes, but yes. He goes, keep sending them. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll still be here, man. I'll still be here looking for evidence. Just, yeah, just take your time. I'm going to try to do at least three hours. I do miss it. It just, it just got to be a grind. Of this is just wind. This heart. This is disheartening. I would think the amount of evidence we've gotten the previous three years to this, we'd have some comparable evidence. And again, we're only on section one of four. Well, 
section one of three. Uh, section four is only a minute. So. It's going to be closing, but. Your aunt pocket dialed you. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, let me see. If I can find something here. Yeah, this was my radio show. Almost five years. Heard her and everyone's whole whole conversation. Oh, that could be dangerous. Be like, just hope they don't hear say something you don't want to know about your family. Be like, wait, I'm adopted. What? Be oh, wait a minute. What? The mechanic. What? <laughs> That's dead through there. Nope, not adopted. I look like him. Okay. Just keep telling yourself that. No, I'm kidding. knocking I think we're going to go with the task cam on the next record. <laughs> Told your little cousin you found her by a dumpster. That is cold. But yeah. <laughs> Would have done the same thing. Now it depends what dumpster it was. Was it next to a KFC? Was it next to a grocery store? Was it at the gas station? Was it better yet at the high school? Hey, you're the prom night dumpster baby. You're like, ooh, ouch. She didn't believe it, but she still asked. It's like, God damn, what are you telling that kid? Nothing. She has a vivid imagination. She must have dreamed it. We know she's not adopted. You're adopted. I, we're straight out of Family Guy. Prom night dumpster baby. Yeah. I think that would be the best, best one. We got somebody coming in. Or 
at least walking through maybe. Yep, team coming in. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight this a little bit. Well, no, they're only coming through. So we don't have to do too much here. Enhance that five. Okay. All right. That's saying be nice. That's not a normal voice right there. That's odd. That's not normal. That is a garbled voice. Uh, okay, let's clean this up a little bit. Okay. It might be an echo. That's a drawn out echo though. Look at the space between the uh There's a pretty broad space between the uh Yeah, it's not an echo because there's too much uh There's way too much distance there between the sound and what sounds like a voice. Let's slow this down a little bit, just for my own sanity. Ooh, this is tough. Be nice or relax. Let's, uh, clean this up a little bit more. I don't know if I can call this evidence. I'm on the fence on this one. Definitely on the fence.
Okay. Uh, try this one more time. Sorry guys, my nose is itching. Uh, I don't think I can call this evidence. We're gonna debunk it. It's not clear enough. There it is again. There it is again. Except this one's clear. This is actually a, this one's actually clear. Uh, let's clean it up and see what happens. Because this be nice is actually uh, more more audible. It's more out there. Uh, let's clean it up and see what happens. If it's anywhere as garbled as the last one, no. Uh, special local enhancer, there we go. This one I am counting. This one I actually think is going to be work so let's get it saved All right, and that's one for the meter. We actually got one this show. <laughs> it's been a hot minute since we got one. It's over. Who in their right mind, as an investigator, would say it's over? Nobody.
let's uh let's get this cleaned up apply effects reverb all right Get fucked. Get fucked. Get fucked. Yeah, one of the investors say investigators say get fucked. And then a response of it's over. Get fucked. Get fucked. Hold up, it's over. Get fucked. So one of the investigators is talking shit. So yeah, uh, that is definitely evidence. Let me get the time, then we'll get it saved. So. Is that one of the investigators antagonizing and the spirit is responding saying it's over mind you this team one of their members did get attacked at the end of the night we will get to that once we get to my h3 VR that I was carrying all night I think I brought it with me if not it's on the GoPro so let's get this saved So that's uh, that's two within a minute in audio, which this show goes to show you, you almost have to be in the area to get evidence. Uh, for last night's cells execution area, yeah, you got to be there. It's we're finding out leaving recorders in certain areas might not be the best idea, but we're gonna gonna have to do it. And it might be that guy. Yeah, I think that might have been the guy. Uh, not sure, but yeah, he got wrecked. Wait and see if that's one of the female team members. I think that's one of the, uh, the female team members. That matches this. Right there. Wait, is that saying you're done? Here. 
here now. Uh, let's bump this up. No, not 123. I like my eardrums. 12 effects. Noise reduction, of course. Apply that. Get some re D reverb. Apply it. Let's find out. It's tying into the warbling now. I don't think I can count this. Let's try to clean it up a little bit more. Uh, another five okay okay I removed something. Uh, it's do auto heal. Let's try up here. Okay. Try this one more time. I don't know. Uh, Moose, maybe. That might be. It's too low though. That's the downside. The more I clean it up, the worse it gets. I'm trying to trying to uh, get rid of that hum. Uh, Uh, when I when I was up at Big Bear there, uh, I had a guy who knows all about Adobe Audition. He actually gave me. Let me see. Let me look it up real quick. See if I could. Uh, let me words. Adobe Paragraphic Equalizer. Paragraphic Equalizer, whatever that is. Parametric equalizer. Maybe he was talking about parametric equalizer.
Okay, that's not gonna do it. Sorry. Yeah, we're gonna debunk this. That sounds like a female, the female team down in women's. Because I'm hearing kicker in the butt. That's definitely kick her in the butt. Uh, <sighs> now, is that the other other team or the female part of Lingering Souls? It's possible. It's very plausible. Not really. Just a couple two-word EVPs. Nothing substantial. Uh, we're trying to clean up this one right now. I don't know if it's part of the female team that was there or if this could be evidence. Uh, this one is tough. It's definitely... A very understandable statement. I think that's just a team in the room, and this is coming from down the hall. Chris and something in here, they're announcing themselves because they see the recorder. And that's one thing I remember. I did tell all the groups that joined us, if you see my recorders, just announce yourself. So when I go to analyze it, I don't think it's an EVP. I think it's Chris and something in here is the first part, is the guys. <laughs> With this, kicker in the butt. I'm not going to count this because I think it's the other team. That's the other downside to this. You've got two people in the execution area. You open the door, you go 30 feet down and take a left. You got more people in women's, which concrete and steel walls, freaking echoes right down. So are we getting a false positive there?
I think so. Uh, no. Uh, with the groups that I I invite, I know they're very legit people. They would not do that. Uh, if they did, I would expose them for the frauds that they are, and they wouldn't be allowed into many places. Uh, if I joke, if I make a joke, I announce it immediately. We were two years previously up in building 13 on the hill. I managed to get up the hill without being heard. I opened the door to the cell house. I walked in, I opened the door just enough to squeeze in and I slammed the door behind me. And everybody's like, what the fuck? I'm like, hey, it's just me. Immediately said, hey, it's just me guys. Just fucking with you. Just checking on you guys. We're like, oh, we're okay. It's like, okay, I'll see you later. I wanted to scare somebody and each year I go, I scare at least one person, but I immediately say, Hey, it's me. It's me. Don't worry. It's not evidence. Uh, trying to get some, uh, activity stirred up by seeing if we can get a response out of somebody scaring them, that will provoke the spirits to, uh, try to communicate a little bit more. So I will not intentionally try to fake an EVP like, try to whisper and create an EVP, nobody I know will ever do that either. But I know I know there's some who have. Because some people have very discernible voices. Hey, that's your voice. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Pump it up. They're like, oh, it was. It's like, really? You were going to pass this off as evidence? Not on my watch. Door shutting. Watch. Just us leaving. They announced it. They did good. Give them a pat on the back. That should not be there. They just left the area. You, you heard the door slam. You heard the door slam. They left execution. This is coming from inside. Then there's voices coming from outside. So this would be an unknown voice. I don't even think I can make this out.
Sounds like somebody grasping for air to speak as they're speaking. They're very labored in their breathing while trying to talk. Very possible, Moose. I hear, I don't know. Uh, I don't. I didn't see them, I don't know. I hear the second part, not the first. Uh, let's clean it up. Moose on that, uh, possibly, but that's, it's so, it's labored. The, the voice is labored. They're, it's like they're fighting to talk. Uh, and it's also very deep. Could it be somebody on the other side of the door? Absolutely. Because literally, they just left, not... not 25 seconds ago. So if we take that back to here. Okay, I hear footsteps. I don't think I have that followage set up uh, that I know about. Uh, I hear six footsteps. So... Six steps. I'm going to probably agree with you. No, Moose. If I'm 50-50, so yeah. We're going to call it the bunk. That one's really loud. That one's really loud. Yeah, I used to use that sound clip on my radio show uh, around Halloween. Uh, just because Deliverance meets Jason Voorhees out in the middle of the woods, Camp Crystal Lake. I, 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 I just came up with it one day. I'm like, I got to come up with something extraordinarily stupid. And I was like, <laughs> this could be good. This could be really good. Why am I yawning so much?
No, it was, uh, hold on. Give me a second. That was my old radio show, A Day to Nashville. Basically, I featured all the unsigned country artists. Anybody that was new and up and coming, trying to get their foot in the door. I can't tell you how many artists were. I was the first one to ever play their music on air. So it's, I helped give new artists a leg up. And I was their outlet. I've been off air for four years now, maybe five. And I think we're closing in on show number 600. <laughs> Should be sometime next week. All right, Moose. Uh, I'm probably going to do about another 50 minutes. Then I'm going to take a break and come back. But I will be back on. Later. All right, I'm going to pause that. And we got to go in and fix this. when you only do a little bit at a time. All right. Actually, before I screw this up again, let me give a little bump. Let me amplify that just a, just a hair. All right. very much right now a lot of blank a lot of residual cell doors definitely nothing uh, nothing exciting
What's up, Windsor? How you doing, bud? Yeah, Windsor definitely not missing much. Uh, we got two EVPs about 20 minutes ago. Simple little two word, nothing worth getting excited about. Uh, beyond that, we're kind of just perusing through this. Stupid Twitch never notified me. I put it in Discord. I'm trying to remember to tag everyone on Discord when I go live, just to make it easier. We're pretty much on, on residuals right now. Definitely can do a two-part show today, though, Windsor. Uh, give it about another 50 minutes. I'm going to take a break, get something to eat, then come back and do another show. But I promised, I promised weekend shows uh, so we can get caught up. And uh, yeah, we definitely got to get caught up. We have two months to get all this done. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight more recorders and a bunch of GoPros to go through. And we're only at 115 EVPs. <laughs> Not good. Identify residual pretty well. Uh, Windsor, uh, decent. Uh, our warehouse swamp coolers have it down to about 75 degrees, so it's amazing in the warehouse. If we have to step out for any reason, then it's brutal. Uh, my trip from Big Bear, I'm still a little sunburnt. It's getting a lot better, but then again, it was only. 80 degrees up there. Oh, David, I am. Be like, guys, last year when I was up here, you didn't talk to me for shit. What's up with that? I'm gonna give him a ration of shit. And how you doing, David? Been a hot minute. So yeah, pretty much nothing here. Uh, we got two, been lurking when I can get on, yeah. And for me, like I said, it's work has been, I didn't think it was gonna be this busy this week. Uh, 
Well, it wasn't busy per se, but some things kept me from doing shows, mainly my health. <laughs> because like I said, it's I'm still recovering from, from Anawa. It was atrociously busy. And I walked 50 miles in four days. Let's get this loaded. Actually, figure 40, 47 and change. Yeah, Windsor. <laughs> I was it's pretty, pretty insane. Uh, having to walk back and forth between the stages, make sure everybody had what they needed. It was I don't think he walked 50 miles in my existence. I average in the figure in the warehouse every day, I average four to five miles. That festival? Yeah, I, I put on some some foot traffic. Yeah, I don't I don't sit around at work. I don't have it in me to sit around. It's like if I'm if I'm working, <laughs> everybody better, better be working. All right, we're on to section 2. I've <laughs> I like to move around. I'm the type of person I can't, you see me moving around a lot in this chair. It's not a nervous tick. I can't sit still for very long. It drives me absolutely bonkers. We're pretty dead up to here. I'm, I'm always active. I'm a very, I don't want to say hyperactive person, but I, I don't like sitting around. I, I just don't. Team down the hall. Figure that was one day, seventeen to eighty four, which is seven point three six miles, twenty four point oh oh two which is 10.22 miles, 27.74, which is 8.85 miles, 24.786, which is 10.56, 27.74, which is 8.85 miles, and Monday was 7,000, so that's three miles. Not, not by any means. And this is all team in the background. But just for uh, just for working Anawa for five days, I made over two grand. Well, 
well, well, well, well over that. Uh, At least we got a nice section. Which is about... Damn. 30 minutes long that we can... Uh, for a potential for a lot of evidence. We're going to hope for the best on this one. Let's try to catch up on lost evidence here. Just on a static recorder. Fingers are crossed. Nice, David. You got me. <laughs> Fuck. I need to put some more s sound effects into that side so you guys don't have to pay bits for the good ones. Uh... I could just leave those there. If you guys really want to scare me. It's just saying. Okay, what do we have coming here? Echo. Sounds like they're just walking through. That, that's me. Yep. 
Definitely me. I'm over in execution viewing. So it's not going to be that clear. Let's do this. All right, let's go. Five ought to be enough. Hold on. Is that a breath? Or is that a voice?
I can't count that. Oh well. Whoa. That is not saying what I think it's saying. You're an asshole. It is. That is saying you're an asshole. What the fuck? That's one sixteen. <laughs> um, wow, that really is insulting me. Not only do we get one on the EVP meter, we get one on the insult meter. Let's get that saved.
Yep. There's the you EVP. Sneaky bastard. And you there's the insult. <laughs> oh my god, we got an insult. Um, no, that wasn't Eddie. That was, hold on, let's go back, see who it was. That was 3014. Don't know who it was. Hope it wasn't Eddie calling me an asshole. I've been nothing but nice to him. That would just be rude. My recorder's right here. I'm going to set this right here on the bars. I'm going to set this down at the foot of the bed again. And let's see how it's done. Okay. Here we go. I'm back in here. That's me. Alright, uh, 
Mr. Daryl Mack, Mr. Carol Cole, or if any one of you gentlemen are here with me right now, could you touch that little box at the foot of the bed and let me, and let me know of your presence? A couple years ago, I got very sick in here. And I have to know when I started getting that upset stomach and I had to leave, was that you showing me what you were feeling before they led you into the execution chamber? I had asked last year, who was it that made me sick? And I got a response of, I saw that. Were you watching from outside of this cell while someone else was making me ill? Could you touch that box, please? Tires on the highway. What was your last meal inside this cell? Any one of you gentlemen can answer. Hoping for an answer on this one. How scared were you looking out of this cell, looking at the execution chamber door? How scared were you looking at that? Probably not the best question. Terrified? Oh. Is that a response? Is that actually saying terrified? Or did I just guess that? to stop this so I don't blow out eardrums. Okay. Uh, I might just be forcing myself to hear something at this point. Uh, I'm hearing something, but it still could be tires on the highway. which is what I'm leaning towards. Are you guys hearing anything here?
Nothing understandable. Okay. I'm hearing a very, very... I only ask because I want to understand what you felt was... spending your last few hours inside this cell. I mean, no disrespect to any one of you. There's going to be several people coming in here tonight to speak with you. They've been here the past couple years with me as well. And I'm asking you to show them the same respect that you showed to me. You could have attacked me, you could have shown me things that you've shown me before. But instead you've shown me your friendship, and I appreciate that. Please do the same to them. Just me. Debunk. Debunk myself. Go figure. What were your thoughts just spending the last few hours in here? Were you worried about if it was going to hurt? Were you worried about what your family or friends would think after you were gone? If you could, that's kind of a two-part question. Could you tell me your name, please, and any message you have for your family? Could you tell me now, please? Debunk. Bunk bed, debunk, yeah. If I do anything, I always debunk. As I said last night, if any one of you gentlemen are football fans, Thursday night was the first night of the football season, and the Detroit Lions beat the Kansas City Chiefs 21 to 20. If you are were a fan of football, or still are, could you light up that box for me, please, at, at the end of this bed? question considering you're spending your last few hours in here and I'm talking about sports. That's what men do. We talk about stupid things. Somebody wanted to jump up and say hi to everybody. If you had one last wish before they let you leave. Jack hasn't been on camera in a while. He wanted to come say hi to everybody. <laughs> it doesn't appear when he wants to be on camera. Ah, just wants to sit here and lick my face. Yep, Jack is here. Say hi to everybody, Jack. No? Okay. Okay. Kind of trots off. In the other room, what would it, what would it have been? Could you tell me, please? 
for what their wish had been to not be executed. I know I keep going back to the same same gentleman, but I have to ask Mr. Cole, Eddie, Eddie, I know you're here with me. I mean, you, you always you always talk to me when I come here. I've got to ask a very sensitive question, and I, please, I want you to answer it. Do you feel that they had to had to execute you for the hurting to stop? For, uh, for you hurting women to stop, and for you to stop your suffering, your emotional suffering. Do you feel they had to for it to stop? Didn't get an answer to that one. Ouch. Mr. Daryl Mack, which one of these cells were you in? A or B? Or are you like me? And for those who those were and for those who those and for those who it must be again. those were those who were taken by lethal injection, are you like me and have a fear of needles? Because I'm a man and I hate needles, I ain't no lie. Needles, spiders, and knights. Could you light up that box if you're scared of needles like me? Wait for a response out like you pussy. It's like, yep, yeah, I hate needles. I wish I knew what else to ask. If you guys, if you guys want to talk, please let up that box and I'll keep talking. Otherwise, I'm gonna let some other people in here try to communicate with you tonight. We've we've had some fun times in here, and I'm gonna keep coming back every year to speak with you. I promise you that every year that I can. I said it's a long trek up from Las Vegas, but it's worth it to speak to you, gentlemen. I honestly hope you appreciate that because I enjoy it. Touch that box at the end of the book. I'll leave you in peace for now. Did they at least have the shades up on those windows? Maybe the windows crack so you can get some fresh air and sunlight. Did they at least have that compassion for you? <laughs> I 
I just realized something. I'm, I've asked Edward Cole to come out and speak with me. And that box at the end of the bunk, the name of that box is an Eddie Meter. E-D-I. So I got Eddie Cole and the Eddie Meter. I think that's kind of ironic, don't you? Mr. David Blackwell. Mr. Sebastian Bridges. Mr. Jesse Bishop. Mr. E. John. And then Johnny. Joe Ibapah. Any one of you gentlemen, please come forward. How fast did the time go? From the time you were over in death row till you were brought in here, did the days fly by or did they drag? Now, I only ask to better understand your situation. We're all men here in men talk. Also, uh, last year I said, how do you feel about Susan, Chris, and the others keeping this prison up for people to come back, continuously come back to visit with you? And somebody had said, hang on to them. Could you tell me your name if you're the one who said it, please? And Susan is actually talking about making me a docent of the prison, which means I will be coming up here more often to help take care of it. If that, we're all men here in men talk. Also, uh, last year I said, how do you feel about Susan, Chris, and the others keeping this prison up? for people to come back, continuously come back to visit with you. And somebody had said, hang on to them. Could you tell me your name if you're the one who said it, please? Thank you. And Susan is actually talking about making me a docent of the prison which means I will be coming up here more often to help take care of it. If that, may, that would make you happy to see me more often, could you light up that box, please? Like you just did? Seriously, move up. I would seriously, I would seriously move up here from Las Vegas if it meant taking care of this prison for you guys. That would actually make me very happy. So people can experience. Everything I've experienced in this in this cell, speaking to you guys. Hmm. 
I know you guys are here and you're just, you're, you're appreciating my energy in here. And if, even if you don't respond through that box, these devices will, will hear your voices so I can hear later. Because I can't hear them now. It's basically like a tape recorder. This will, these devices will, will record your voices. They are not high enough for me to hear. And I, I hope you understand that when you respond to me asking you questions, I can't hear them. But those devices can. Those boxes can hear them. Then I have to play them back so I can hear them. Mr. Senator, are you in this area with us, please? Mr. Darrell Mack, when was the last time you went down to culinary? I know you like to hang out down there. If it was less than a week, could you touch that box for me, please? All right, gentlemen, I'm going to step out of here for a little bit and let some other people come speak to you. I thank you guys for talking to me. It's always the highlight of my visit here to the prison, knowing you guys appreciate me being here. I thank you guys, and please rest easy and be nice to the next group coming in here. That's just me and Mark. Me and going off. So, not a lot of evidence on this. I am actually shocked. We did not get but one EVP out of this. All right. You know, the last few hours we're spending here, and that is absolutely intense. We're going to check out the door. This was going to help make up for it. Very, very disappointing on this this year on this year's recording. This cold here in that chamber. This microphone here next to the window behind you. We'll hear your voice, so please speak into it if you like. This was from Susan. Susan sent me a video. If you are here with me, could you open that door, please? You did for Susan and Chris. I think it's a great sign of, sign of respect if you could open that for me. Once we get to the GoPros, you'll understand what door it is. I know it's not you're not doing this for a parlor trick. And it just will show your sign of presence, and that's all I like.
It's the way to the door. Now, if it opens, it would be a different story. So even there, you can see it's open here. So I don't know if we can fully develop that or not. All right, we're going to leave the execution here. Put some other people in. Can't make up the evidence, guys. Wish we could. <laughs> Actually, I don't, but got to get through it. At least we got three EVPs so far. Uh, what we're going to do is four forty. All right, what I'm going to do, guys, is uh, I'm going to sign off for a little bit. I'm going to get something to eat, uh, get refreshed, get my mind straight. And uh, I will be back here in, uh, probably in a couple hours to do part two of this. And uh, we'll finish. We're going to try to finish Dead's H1N Pro tonight. And then maybe start the, uh, start the next recorder at least and see where we're at on it and go from there. And again, there, there will be a show tomorrow. Uh, we got to get caught up. Like I said, we have, like I said, I think what I say, eight recorders left to go after this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight. Or what? What? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, eight recorders to go after this one. Still got a ways to go, so there's going to be weekend shows for the next couple weeks until we get caught up, which should be <laughs> two or three weeks from now. Anyways, guys, I do thank you for being here. Uh, see you in a couple hours. Thanks again.